He was the first to determine the Earth's size accurately. His method is also a fabulous example of the power of a simple, well-timed experiment. Eratosthenes had learned that at noon on the summer solstice in the southern Egyptian city of Siene, the sun was almost exactly overhead, at the zenith, so posts in the ground did not cast any shadows. He also knew that in his city of Alexandria, in the north of Egypt, posts in the ground cast small shadows at noon on the summer solstice. He made some measurements and determined that the sun was a little over seven degrees south of the zenith in Alexandria. This corresponds to about one fiftieth of the circumference of a circle. So he surmised that the circumference of the earth was about 50 times the distance between Alexandria and Cyane. With a distance of about 5,000 stadia, the stadium was an ancient Egyptian and Greek unit of measure. Between Alexandria and Cyane, he estimated the circumference of the Earth at about 250,000 stadia, or 25,000 miles, 40,000 kilometers. Assuming that one stadium was about 175 yards, 160 meters, from Eratosthenes yields a circumference of about 25,000 miles, 40,000 kilometers, which is essentially the correct answer given the various uncertainties and assumptions involved in the measurements.